Yo, we're back with another video. <laughs> Daniel, Tita. today we're doing the top 10 greatest hip hop songs of all time. Top 10 greatest hip hop songs of all time. Now, me and Tita been doing our research. Mm -hmm. We've been putting songs in, taking songs out, putting songs in. We made this list up. Y'all gonna have your own list. Mm -hmm. But we've been creating this list for like a, what, a week? A week or so. About a week we've been working on this list. Research and research. This is very difficult for us to put together, but we did it. We did. And uh, we're gonna get it popping for y'all. At the end of this video, we want y'all to definitely comment and tell us what y'all think about it. But before we get this video started, I want y'all to get this video like, and I want y'all to subscribe to our channel. That's what I want y'all to do. We wait, we wait. All right, we're back. That was fast. Now, let's start the video. Top 10 greatest hip hop songs of all time. Top 10. Top 10. You wanna start it off? Number 10. Number 10, Wu Tang Clan, Shrek. Wu Tang King. Wu Tang Clan. I'm sorry. All right, Clan. There's some of them that I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce the name right. I'm not good with Wu -Tang the name. Wu Tang Clan. I'm good at the song. Okay. Wu Tang Clan Triumph is our number 10. It was released in 1997. Features all the Wu Tang members. And a little fun fact is RZA did an interview back in 2005. Mm -hmm. Saying that um, radio stations and video stations did not want to play the song Triumph. No, why? Because the song was too long. The song is about six minutes long, and radio didn't want to play it. Video state, you know, BET, MTV, they didn't want to play it. He said, Y'all gonna play it? I'm not gonna edit this song. Y'all gonna play it, or you're not gonna do nothing at all. Damn. And as y'all know, we saw the video, we saw the song, and they played it. So, congratulations to them. Yay. Number 10. Number 10. Yep. Now, number 9. Number 9. LL Cool J, Mama Said Knock You Out. Mama Said Knock You Out. Uh! LL Cool J, that came out in 1990. 1990. So, number 9. Um, LL Cool J said, uh, he explained the title of this song. It came to him when he was having trouble finding his direction with his songwriting. So his grandmother heard about him having problems. She said, so she gave him some simple advice mm -hmm. and said, knock them out. Mm -hmm. Go and knock them out. Go and knock to them hear out. the song, Mom said, knock you out. Knock you out. Mm -hmm. Number eight. Number eight, Warren G and Nate Dogg, Regulate. Warren G and Nate Dogg, Regulators. Number eight. Number eight. It was a clear back night. A clear back night. Warren G was on the street, you know? I know. What you, what you know about that? I don't know much about that. You know a lot. The Regulators by Warren G and Nate That was a great song. One of the first uh, ones you purchased. Well, that released in the summer 1994 also featured on the Above the Rim soundtrack. It was a breakout hit for Warren G and Nate Dogg. In the interview, Warren G recalls Nate Dogg actually recorded his portion of the song in the closet. Oh. He was in the studio. He did his verse in the closet. That's, that's dope. And then Warren G did his in the studio and they put together Regulators. Mana. Number. Number seven. A mod back in the day. Back in the day when I was young, I'm not a kid anymore. But some days I say, wish I was a kid again. Remember that song? Gets featured. That's like a very popular hip hop song. It gets played on a lot of uh, a lot of movies. Play this song. I love when the song comes out. Fun fact: our man was 18 years old when he wrote this song. 18. Yep. 18 mm. years old. Songs about our childhood and growing up. Young teenage years, 
Seven was on a different thing, probably. He was 18 years old. I, ne- I never knew he was 18 years old. Man. That's tight. All right. That's cool. talent. Yep. What's number? What's number six? Number six. Biggie. Biggie Juicy. Classic. Biggie's first hit, released in 1994. Uh, about his home beginnings and unlikely rise to fame. In the song, he mentioned several uh, hip hop pioneers who influenced him. Mm-hmm. A couple of fun facts about the song. Okay. Well, facts. Facts. Four days before the song came out, uh-huh. Biggie married Faith Evans. Oh. Did you know that? I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. And music producer Pete Rock claims that Sean Puffy Combs, aka Diddy, stole the juicy beat from him. Did you know that? I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Ooh. I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. What's number five? Number five. Tupac, dear mama. Dear mama. Definitely a great song. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Tupac, dear mama came out in 1995. Tupac wrote this song for his mother to let her know that he preached all the hardships she went through raising him. And it was one of the first popular rap songs to sing praise to artist's mother. The video was also filmed while Tupac was in prison. And Tupac became the first artist to have a number one album while in jail, which was Me Against the World. I like this song. Great song. Great. Does it make you cry? Yes. It's one of the songs that made me. Gotta play this song on Mother's Day. Yes. Play a song. It's a mess. Yes. Number four. Number four. Slick Rick Children's Story. Slick Rick Children's Story came out in 1988. You know, it tells a tale of a 17 year old boy who attempts to rob an undercover detective. There's a point of gun at him, a teenager who has second thoughts about pulling the trigger and makes a run for it. Then he steals a car, which he later crashes, and then he survives and he grabs a pregnant lady and points a gun at her. But deep in his heart, he's like, yo, this is wrong. So he let the lady go and he starts to run. And the song ends with the cops shooting him. What you think? It ain't funny, so don't you dare laugh. Ooh. Slick Rick. I think that's a great song. A I like it because Slick Rick, you know, the storytelling mm-hmm. songs are always the best. You know what I mean? That sounds like a good one. It's dope. It tells a story to it. Mm-hmm. Every song does, but yeah. this one really does. Check out. Number three. Greatest. Number three. Greatest hip-hop songs of all time. You ready for this? Yeah. What's number three? Grandmaster Flash, The Message. Oh. Grandmaster Flash, The Message. Don't push me. You know, um, Grandmaster Flash the Message was the first hip hop song to provide social commentary rather than self boasting or party chants of early hip hop music at that time. A lot of that time was DJs, you know, put your hands up, put your hands up, let everybody say, oh, hey, you know what I'm saying, at that time. But this one actually tell the tale about growing up mm-hmm. in the ghetto. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Other things, you know, got crackheads and all that. All that. You know what I'm talking about? So Grandmaster Fast wasn't the original of the hip hop. What's number two? Number two. Ice Cube today was a good day. Ice Cube Today was a good day. Came out in 1993. Okay. Uh, when he was recording his album, this was one of the first ideas for the album. The concept behind the song that inspired was um, at the time he was on top of the rag game. It was the summer of 1992, and he was in the hotel room. He had all this money that he dreamed of, but he's like, "Yo, I will rap about this gangster stuff. Let me let me rap about the good days and good times." So he did that. Also, DJ Pooh, who did the Friday movies with him, okay. actually shot this video for him. Really? Well. Mm-hmm. That's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Now. Now. 
We just did the top 10 greatest hip hop songs of all time. I know y'all wonder what's number one. What do you think is number one? What's one number one? To us, like I said, this list is hard to make. It is the number one. You ready? Ready. Number one. The Fresh Prince and DJ Jazzy, Jeff, Summertime. Summer, summer, summertime. Come on, sing it. You ain't even singing. I don't know about that, bro. The chorus. Let's listen to the song later. All right, bro. I I didn't sing it right. I don't know, bro. She a hater. I'm anyway, not a hater. Just... This song was released in 1991. Won the Grammy for best rap performance by a duo or a group, which was not televised. No was not televised on the Grammys on TV. Did you know that? I didn't know that. And another rumor on this song that we're going to bump. Rakim did not write this song. <gasps> a lot of people thought Rakim wrote this song for Fresh Prince, a.k.a. Will Smith and DJ Daddy No, he did not write this song. He said he did not write the song. This is our list. What y'all think about our list? Does it work with your list? Top 10 greatest hip-hop songs of all time. Are we missing anybody? Should we I take mean, this, somebody out? Like I said, it, may, it took us a week to make this list. It was hard, difficult. I bet you, I bet you tomorrow if we make another list, it's going to be different songs. But mm -hmm. tell us y'all list. Leave it down in the comment section. Boop, 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 boop. This is our top 10 hip-hop songs. Greatest. Greatest hip-hop songs. Of all time. Of all time. So leave it down and tell us y'all y'all list down in the comment section. Do you agree to this? Do you disagree with this? Let us know. Let us know what we're missing. Mm -hmm. Let us know what you don't agree on. Most Let us know any facts that you, maybe you know that we didn't mention. You know what else they can do for us? What else can they do? Give this video a thumbs up. Look at that big old thumb. But don't thumbs down. Mm -hmm. But stay down with us. Peace.